Amazon's new headquarters in Crystal City is still years away, but the area is still feeling its effects, both good and bad. More than 3,000 people have already been hired by the tech giant. That's just about how many people live nearby who fear rising rents will push them out of their homes. Ardelia Gonsal spoke with some neighbors about their concerns. Elsie Portillo sells her own brand of street fair in Arlandria. Though all the locals in this part of the Alexandria community call their adopted home Chirilawa, named after a town in El Salvador. This immigrant community of low-wage workers sits in the shadow of what is soon to be Amazon's HQ2, and fear of the tech giant looms large. La verdad, sí. It's going to affect our community because everything's going to get more expensive. Maria Cabrera has lived here for 15 years. We can't live with the same salary with the, with the family of four. The minimum wage is very low, and this is just making it worse. In May, Virginia increased its minimum wage to $9.50 per hour, but it's still the lowest in the region. Among the reasons we have a housing crisis is because wages have not kept up. Now the city of Alexandria hopes to inject $100 million to preserve and build more affordable housing here. What can we do now to make sure that there are both resources in place and uh, parameters to guide what that future development will be like. Housing director Helen McElvain says the city plans to build 480 affordable units in the next three years, 25% of which would be deeply affordable. They'd be set aside for families that make 40% of the area median income. That's just over 50 grand for a family of four, according to the Alexandria Housing Development Corporation. But at 30%, the rent isn't enough even to fully operate the unit. Their plan that they had in place is not different than what they have done in the rest of the city. And we can look at what has happened to people of color, working class. They have been pushed out of the city because- Evelyn Uritia is the executive director of Tenant and Workers United. The advocacy group is negotiating with the city to develop a stronger plan that meets the needs of these low-wage workers who, two years into these talks, are skeptical. So, see, They're what? just giving us like a piece of candy and just telling us to relax in the meantime. That was Delia Gonzalez reporting. Alexandria leaders will present their $100 million housing plan before the city council tomorrow.